I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a jig for your most beautiful wire work ever. So I wanna show you guys a really easy thing you can do when you need like beautiful wire work and you need to hopefully make multiple versions of it that all look uh, mostly the same. Uh, something called a jig. All this is is a piece of wood and we've got a couple little finishing nails stuck in here. And you can see that my very talented friend Alexis drew like a little outline here of like, okay, this is what she wanted her earring to look like. Here's how big her stone was and how she wanted her wire work to look around that. So you can see it fits right over it like that. And she used this to be able to make these gorgeous shapes right in here. And you see, she's now making a companion piece, so she's making a slightly smaller version of it up here, and she's got it, you know, bending over that right there. But basically, you take a little nail, you whack it in a piece of wood. Usually what we do, we use little finishing nails that don't have a very big top on them anyway, like something like this. <clears throat> but we usually just use cutters and kind of trim off the little top so that you can slide your wire right down over it. You can sand them a little bit if you want, if, if you know you don't want them to get caught on anything, but honestly, usually we just kind of cut the tops off and start using them just the way they are. But you see how beautifully that works? And you can use this for making, um, I don't know, ear wires, pretty much anything that you want to make the same curve, you know, over and over and you want it to be beautiful. Uh, you just make a little jig like this. And I know that they sell things with little ceramic pins and everything, and that's great, but honestly, a scrap little piece of wood and some finishing nails will do the job beautifully. As you can see, this gorgeous earring uh, that she made with it. So I'm also gonna show you a close-up of the earring just so that you can see what the little curves look like. But this is just one of those things where you don't need fancy tools. All you need is like a little scrap wood and some nails and you can make some gorgeous shapes because you know, it can be very tricky to get wire work to really look beautiful. And I mean, I find usually I have to practice a little bit with maybe a little copper wire or whatever and play around until I have a jig and my method to really get the curves to look the way that I want them to look. So I'm gonna show you a little close up of the earring and a close up of the jig, but basically that's the tip. Just whack some nails into a piece of wood and then you can shape your wire around it. So here's a little closer view so you can see the little drawing that Alexis put on there what she did which is so beautiful and you can see that it still fits right over it you see what I mean still fits over there beautifully and then we just made this little additional one tonight because she's making like a companion piece to this that's a little bit smaller so we just kind of move the scale in just a little bit of the nails and you can see she's shaping it around there this is just a really easy, inexpensive method to be able to get beautiful shapes, which is not always so easy. So next time you're struggling trying to get some nice curves and get things to look the way you want, just think about using some finishing nails. So you see how beautifully this was laid out with her piece and the wires, and now she can make pieces to match all day long. 